Hello guys, I said I was to be making this video. Why the Lion King is actually a worse example of modern entertainment. The fact that people are willing to buy the same same crap over and over and over again, okay? People are willing to buy the same garbage just because it's a familiar series. Okay, this is the same problem in gaming. Let's look at how well FIFA, how FIFA sells 10 million copies every year, despite them being the same exact garbage games. Um, gaming had that problem too, where people will be willing to buy the same games over and over and over and over again, like FIFA, Madden, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, and Pokemon is now another, another example of that too. Um, Pokemon is dying um, by hardcore fans, but the casual fans will still buy it no matter what. Here's the problem with the Lion King remake is showing that, that that people just don't care about movies, okay? People just do not care. They'll buy the same crap over and over and over again. Like, if we're at the top 10 highest grossing movies, excluding Chinese movies because we can't see them because they're only in China. The Wandering Earth is only on Netflix, which instead of putting on DVD, they have to put on freaking Netflix. So let's exclude The Wandering Earth because that's and the only include that, let's talk about Hollywood movies. So, the, I, I always complain that sequels are bad, but some movies do need to see, do deserve sequels. Um, like, Godzilla. God, we, like, let's look at, let's look at Godzilla, okay? <laughs> Godzilla is known for its sequels. Godzilla is known for its sequels, okay? But let's look at the top 10 movies. Avengers Endgame, yes, we we expected that, everybody expected Endgame to do well because it's the ending of a, it's basically the ending, they are making Phase 4, but Phase 4 will not do as well as Phase 3, Phase and Phase 2. The Lion King remake, this is the problem here. People will be willing to buy the same garbage over and over and over again. Same thing with Aladdin, okay, the same trash. And people will complain all day and all night. And call this soulless rehashes and soulless remakes. But then they'll go out and still watch the movie like two or three times. Okay? And give a good review saying, oh, and refuse to take off the nostalgia glasses and see how bad they will really yell. Like the Lion King remake. Okay? The Lion King remake is probably one of the most soulless movies of the year. But people are willing to block me instead of actually listen to me why the Lion King remake is terrible. That is just how. Our society has fallen, okay? The fact that you'll be willing to block someone over a freaking movie is insane. Over a movie that isn't actually that great, the Lion King remake. If I want to, I have the Lion King DVD. I can just watch that whenever I want. I don't need to watch the live action version of the Lion King. I don't need to watch that, okay? I don't need to watch the live action Lion King, okay? I don't need to watch the live action Lion King because I already own the animated version. Okay, the only reason why I watched The Jungle Book was because I didn't really care for the animated original. So I wanted to see what they could do with the technology they had today. And actually, The Jungle Book was actually pretty great compared to The Lion King and Aladdin. The Jungle Book actually was like they made it more of passion than just for money. And another reason that you can see that they always put like some big style in the movie to make sure people come in. Like Beyonce and Will Smith, okay? Beyonce is in the Lion King remake, and Will Smith is infamous for the Will Smith genie. Everybody complained about the Aladdin remake. Everybody complained about it. But it still goes a billion dollars. It's still here. A billion dollars. Um, It's still here. It's still at a billion dollars. I know people actually like the Aladdin remake. I know people. But the Lion King remake is actually worse, okay? This is a uh, Lion King remake is actually bad. Okay, the Lion King remake is actually bad. I haven't seen Aladdin, and I'm not going to go see the Lion King. But what I've heard is, why well, I I can just uh, it's, it's, it's like the Emoji movie. All the trailer says it all. It's just a live action version of the Lion King with when the characters are more emotionless than some actual bad movies. Okay. Okay, that's the problem. And you know what the funny thing is. People were actually saying entertainment will be doomed if the Lion King fails. Yes, you heard me right. The entertainment industry will be ruined if a soulless remake of 
that nobody asked for that still managed to go to billion dollars because people can't take off the nostalgia glasses fails. Okay. Spider-Man Far From Home, yes, that movie deserves one billion dollars. Okay, Spider-Man Far From Home, that movie deserves one billion dollars. It's probably one of the best Spider-Man movies ever made. But the the two should Aladdin really be a billion dollar movie? Um especially a movie I already went over Toy Story 4. But what as what were the top ten movies that Hollywood released this year? So Godzilla, Alita, Pokemon. Detective Pikachu, How to Train a Dragon, Toy Story 4, Aladdin, Spider-Man Far From Home, Captain Marvel, The Lion King, and Endgame. Okay. You can see that the only movies that have past 600 million are Disney movies. If you exclude The Wandering Earth, which is a Chinese blockbuster, really specifically made for Chinese people only. As you can't really get this movie outside of China, unless you want to, unless you want to watch it on Netflix with a terrible dub. But the event, the, this is the problem here. Okay, good movies never sell. Okay, people are not willing to take chances and see new movies. They'll see the same garbage over and over and over again. They'll see the same Lion King remake. They'll see the same movies over and over and over again. And the movie industry is now trying to turn into the gaming industry. Gaming industry already has this problem. People will still complain and harp on Call of Duty, but then they'll still go out and pay $60 to buy Call of Duty again. Okay? They'll complain about FIFA and EA, but then they'll buy the same freaking EA sports games every year. Okay? That's the problem that Hollywood is heading into. The gaming industry problem. The problem the gaming industry is having. Well, unoriginal games still sell well, lazy games still sell really well, like Pokemon Sword and Sealed, um, and creative games don't really sell that well anymore. Don't really sell. They still sell 1 to 2 million copies, but it still won't be enough like FIFA. Okay. If you combined all of FIFA's sales, from Samuel Breath of the Wild came out, FIFA still out, and that year alone, FIFA outsold Breath of the Wild. FIFA outsold Breath of the Wild. Even though Breath of the Wild is a superior game, people still wanted to go out by FIFA instead. More people bought FIFA instead. Okay? That's the problem Hollywood is uh, heading into. Okay? We can have good movies like Detective Pikachu and Arena Battle Angel come out, but then, and sell a lot and make this much money, but then we have Lion King being like the FIFA and still selling 1.3 billion despite people complain about it and hopping about it. Or Marvel is another thing people are now hopping out about too, saying that people buy the same Marvel movies over and over and over again. Okay, like Spider Man, Problem Home, grossing 1 billion dollars. Even though I have 1 billion dollars, is really because of China. Um, China, they went to go out to see that movie. Or Captain Marvel is another example. Okay, they went to go, pe people, people were sitting on this movie, literally. Captain Marvel, I did it as well. I didn't actually see Captain Marvel, I, I saved my money, but, but, it still grows to billion dollars, but people were saying how garbage this movie was gonna be, and how garbage this movie was. If Captain Marvel, if, P if, Captain Marvel was really that bad of a movie, it will perform similarly to Dark Phoenix and Men Black International. Movies that are completely awful in, in all of their respective rights. Okay. When you have one of the worst movies of the year be one of the highest grossing movies just because it has the title Marvel on it, you know you have a problem here. So, basically the movie industry is turning to what the gaming industry has become. Gaming industry values laziness over creativity. Let's look at EA and Activision. They'll make the same games over and over and over again, and people will still buy them despite them hopping on them and saying how garbage they really are. FIFA and Call of Duty, for example. Creative games still do well, but they just don't do as well as the same movie games over and over and over again. And Game Theory also made a theory why, why franchises do 
why game why why game sequels continue doing well over original properties. This also carries into the film industry as well. The fact that people will watch the same movies over and over and over again and willing and unwilling to give new things a chance. Okay. Game Theory actually made a very great theory about why people, why there are many sequels being made and they still make a sell well despite them being bad. This can apply to the film industry as well. Star Wars Episode 9 will still probably gross a billion dollars just because it's a Star Wars movie. Just because it's a Star Wars movie. And that's the problem here. That's why everybody hopping on Star Wars now will still probably gross a billion dollars and everybody will be hanky doy. Hunky doy. Same thing with Frozen 2. And the and many other movies people hop on. So that's basically it. Make sure you like, sound, and subscribe, and goodbye.